Hi, I'm Captain Peter Hobbs and I've been privileged enough to journey this week with the Melbourne Staff Band to Zambia. It's been my role to capture these images on video and to share them with the world. I see you, Peter. <laughs> what an honour it's been to be able to participate in this mission. Wow, well, we're in Zambia. But also to be able to spend time with these amazing musicians who not only are fantastic professional players, but they're really godly people. So in this final video for the series, we are actually going to share some of their highlights of the trip. But I thought just before we finish, I'd like to share my highlight. My highlight has literally been hanging out with these guys, but also hanging out with the wonderful people in Zambia. Amazing people who are just wanting to share the love of Jesus and uh, godly people. So for me, their lives have touched my lives and I want to thank God for that. But the band have their own highlights. Let's check them out. The highlight for me was when we rehearsed the music, there's no one, there's no one like Jesus, probably three or four weeks before we even left for the tour. Um, and to us it was, it was a tune, it was the music that we we're going to support. But when we started playing it in the morning and just the way that people responded in singing it and teaching us the words and the shakers, it was just a great experience that the use of music and especially the use of God's music anywhere in the world was just fantastic. We are blessed with that music. It's really awesome and it has brought us near to the cross of God. No, the band is very impressive. It's nice. I've liked it very much. Excellent. Excellent performance, uh, nice Christian music. I enjoyed it. I do play, but on, not on a professional level. But I was happy to see professionals playing. What are we doing? The highlight for me from the Zambian Congress was um, catching the, the bulls and the carts to the Saturday night uh, session. If you did this in Melbourne, you'd probably get booked. You would. <laughs> Um, Craig Downs and myself wandered down with one of the local Zambians and we uh, they grabbed a couple of their bulls and hooked them up to the cart and we got a ride into the uh, into the Congress site. Are you going to take us to the stage? <laughs> so that was uh, that was our ride from the night. It was fantastic. I think also walking out into the campsite, yes. just realising that here's this focus of the Congress, but around us is just. Yeah. Surrounded by this community of people. Oh, we have some chickens. Have you brought these to cook and eat? Yes. Yes. It's crazy. Yeah, I was just amazed that they um, could emerge from those tents. I mean, we struggled to get chains and keep clean, and these people crawling out of two and three man tents and resplendent in their uniform every day. Unbelievable. <laughs> Highlights uh, for this tour have definitely been, uh, I suppose, the children and their smiles and the way that uh, we've been able to interact with kids, you know, and uh, kids with just, you know, simple needs and uh, just the love that they have for being around people. My highlight was the Etenveni Children's Home, just seeing those kids there and um, just learning that 90% of those kids were abandoned. That was heartbreaking. It's really nice to travel with them and just spend some time there. Uh, we, we left Lusaka bright and early this morning um, and travelling to the Congress. Um, everything was normal uh, until we ran into some Salvationists that were stranded on the side of the road. The fact that the, the locals within on the bus were immediately willing to help pick up these yeah. other travellers who were, in, who were in trouble. We had a reasonably full bus, we were well spread out, but we, there, was, there wasn't a question, we were going to help them, we were take them. And, and that was wonderful to see. Two hours of bonding now. <laughs> and if the whole world were, worked like that, how, how, how good would it be? I just thought when they started actually singing and playing the timbles on yeah. the bus, that was fantastic. Yes. Yeah. It's like, wow, it's just, that's that spontaneity. The highlight for me from the
Congress was the African singer. Just fantastic. The volume, the gusto, the passion that everything came out with. It's just true. I think afterwards, seeing everyone leave on all these open trucks, yeah. you realise the effort they made to get there. Yeah. They just, nothing stopped them getting there. It's incredible. Amazing. They get in the back of a truck and drive for hours to get to the event. It's also, I think, symptomatic of that response to messages. It's like, if there's anything going, I really want to be in this. Yeah. I've got to get there because I've got to be in this. Highlighted the time, I suppose, both in uh, Zambia and in South Africa, was the, the joyfulness of their worship. And I suppose the challenge to me was, I sort of came across and reflected on the on the scripture from the Psalms, um, restore to me the joy of your salvation. I suppose that's something I'm going to take away and maybe uh, inspire me to in the future. Yeah.